Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Today in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make Quran recitation videos on CapCut Specifically for YouTube Shorts, Instagram Reels and TikTok videos with the aspect ratio as set as by like 16 by 9 And similarly to the one on the screen at the moment Okay the first step is to actually well, essentially grab the screenshots of the eyes itself so at the moment I'm currently using Tartil app you can use uh, other websites such as you can use other applications or other websites uh, in this case I'm just using Tartil app so if I just screenshot the eye that I'm going to be using for the video so in this case uh, sorry Mariam verse 44 and 45 as well in the case where you do need to well, I mean the like the size you can, you can just go into settings and just check them out in this app you can use more stuff later than just amend the font size so when you do uh, when you are taking the screenshots you can have like specific parts of the eye if needed and of course if you're not going to be using the app version you can use the web version as well so quran.com also has a similar style to it so if you well, you can basically take a screenshot of the eyes itself if you need to amend the font size you can also do that as well so if you just click that settings icon and so here I'm just going to crop the image so it selects the specific eye part of the eye that I need so the specific verse that I'll be using will look something like this so once you've got the screenshots, it should look something like this. You just need to crop it so it shows the part of the eyes that you want to add within the video, and then we'll make the background visible. To remove the background, what we need to do is go onto this website called remove.bg. Essentially, what we'll do is upload the screenshots that we have taken of the verses, and then that will that tool will essentially remove the background, so it only shows the verse itself. So we'll need to then download those and then upload it to CapCut. Okay, so once you've uploaded the images, it may look like there's nothing on the screen at the moment, but um, essentially what it is, the Aya is on the screen, but with an invisible background. So the black, the dark background has been removed. Um, it should look something like this. So if you just pan through, if there's any issues such as the one on the screen at the moment, which is like a mark, you can use the tool to remove it. So if you just set the, um, the size to small, then just manually remove it. And then once that's all uploaded and ready, we'll just click download and download those images with the principal background and the aisle. And in your gallery, it may look something like this. It may look blank, but the verse is actually there. And then we go into CapCut, of course, create a new project, upload the video that we want. In this case, I'm going to be doing this one here. And then first things first, we'll need to amend the aspect ratio. So just along the bottom, you just click aspect ratio and then you just change it to 9 by 16. And then what we need to do is zoom it in so but like the video shows like completely on the screen. Now that I've got the screen adjusted, I'm going to add an overlay which is a black to transparent. So from the bottom to the top. So black in the bottom and then transparent on the top overlay on the video itself so that we can also cover the watermark and we can also add the text, the Arabic text and the English translation to the video. And then now we just need to add the verses so just click add overlay and then just add the images of the verse so I'm just gonna add the first one here and just move it to the bottom where wherever you want to adjust it to yeah. and then you just need to place the eye in the correct position so it matches the sound of the video I'm just gonna continue on this
and then once you've got the Arabic text all pasted into the screen here it should look something like this so I should have just the eye yourself and then what we do we add the translation as well so you just click text on the bottom and then you just click add text and then you just want to paste in the translation so if I just show you which translation I'm using yes the one from the clear Quran and then we, all we do is just copy and paste the translation according to the, well, like the correct part of the I.O. Yeah, Yeah. and then it should look something like this so we've got the I and the translation now I'm just going to continue with the second verse but uh, later on we'll do the animation so fade in and fade out as well yeah. أخاف أن يمسك عذاب من الرحمن فتكون للشيطان. Okay, after sorting out the word text, we we'll need to do the animation. So if you click on one of the images, go into animations, and then we we'll need to do fade in. Yeah. And also fade out so that gives it the fade in and fade out effect so you need to do that for all of them Okay, once finished with the images of the verses, we need to move over to the text one. So if you just select the text, and then we'll click on animations. And then we'll repeat the same process of fade in and fade out. The fade out, the duration will be different. Yeah. On. On. Yeah. On. On. Yeah. So just along the bottom right, you should be able to see that fade out. If you just amend the duration to 0 0.7, that should be fine.
وليا أخاف أن يا أبت لا تعبد الشيطان And once you've done all of that, it should look something like this towards the end. أخاف أن يمسك عذاب من الرحمن فتكون للشيطان وليا قال and that's the end of the video if you did find the video useful drop a com like and a comment and if anyone does have any issues do drop them down in the comments below and until next time assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh